Hello, greetings, greetings, ladies and gentlemen out there on the internet, internet land. Um, I will be showing you and walking you through the process for signing up for a Duala account. I'm um, doing this for the simple fact that I just created one. And those of you who are familiar with the shift debit card uh, for you to be able to spend uh, your Bitcoin money or whatever else um, you have connected to your Coinbase account. Well, with the shift debit card card you can also um, connect your funds through your Duala account so right now we'll get started with signing up and we'll click the sign up button right here all right okay excuse me um now how to get some water so excuse me set Right here, it says give you option access API. Connect your software to the banking infrastructure. Send a set money on the wallet. No development card. I'm just gonna click on this. I believe that's what I did last time. Okay, so the email address. G. Okay, well, what I want to use, okay. Okay, I'll put the password in, in username. Okay, which flow suits your needs? Okay, pay in some user payouts, both. I'm going to select that just for the sake of it. Okay. Now select what type of account. I'll just click business because you're so proprietor. That's why we want to select that on uh, the business type. And we'll click so proprietorship. Uh, business classification. How you will categorize your business. Um, let's see what did I select? Okay, computers. Nope, nope. Business to business magazines. And uh, yeah, you can. Um, Go through here and whatever suits you best. Ooh, that's religious. Services other. I think I'll put services other. Okay. Now, on the next tab, you got select something else. You got vision care, consumer good rentals, uh, all personal service. I might select that. Uh, because. Well, for the sake of it, I'm going to select computer network services. No, or other personal service. So I'm just going to select that for the moment, okay? Because the main thing we want to do is, um, for my purposes, um, for using the wallet is to connect with Big Connect. I mean, Bitcoin. Excuse me. For excuse me, shift debit card. I don't know why I'm I'm thinking about Bitcoin, so that's why I, I said Big Connect and, and etc. But never mind, ladies and gentlemen. Now back to the point. You would have put your business name. Did you want to? What business name did you use when applying for your EIN? Now we're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna put like put your regular name. That's what I will put. And I'm using somebody else's name, so somebody I know. That's why I'm demonstrating this because I already have one. Um, EIN number, you don't watch it. And this is the third step, the business information. All right. Now, this is optional. Don't worry about that. This is optional, so we ain't worried about that. 
um, street address. I'll type that in. Okay. All right, the automatic. <coughs> so I'll put the street address, zip code, city, and state. All right. So you put your legal name, first name, and then you put your last name. Then also your date of birth. We'll put that in there. Okay. Okay. Phone number. That next step you want to put two nine nine. Then put the last for your social security. Alright. Then you come with a, uh, a secret pen. That way, uh, for whatever reason, then after that, you simply check that. I agree to the terms of services, terms of services. So you want to go back and double check, you know, once again, make sure it's a sole proprietor, that's who, it, you know, and the classification, we went through that process, your name, all this, you don't have to worry about, um, yeah, put your, whatever, the business name, if you have an actual business name, that's cool, and you're going to do all that, but we just put our regular name, um, uh, and the address, and the last four is social security, and a pen, that's it. And click our group to account. Okay, there we go. Now, now the next step, make sure we don't have no trouble. Okay. Okay, put my social. All right. Submit. And next thing we need to do is we says we need some additional information. So you can upload one or more of the following uh, an EN number, a copy of valid good photo ID or a driver's license. So what I would do is the next step, if you got your phone, log back in and um take a picture of your ID, your a license or your, your um, state ID, and then uh I would simply log back in here and upload it that way. That way it will verify it. Okay. So that's pretty much it. And that's all you have to do.